from two men arrested for selling dog meat. Hata hivyo polisi waliokoa na kuwapeleka hadi katika kituo cha polisi cha Narok Central to house help collaboration with thugs. Is this true? He was expelled from the University of Nairobi for raping a second year's lady. Where are the children rights activists? Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host today and my name is Elvis Derry. In Africa, instead of our children going to school to study and get the best education and have the best future, they are forced into slavery. In Congo, more than 40,000 children are forced to mine cobalt in Katanga province alone. A few days ago in Kenya, in Kagamega County, two children, 14 years and 18 years respectively, lost their lives while mining gold. Is this a future that you want for our children? The end of the year is near and so many celebrations will be happening. People will be traveling and this is the time for us to be safe while driving on the roads. Just a few days ago at the Thika Superhighway, two people lost their lives after their car, their private car, lost control and rammed into the Ruiru footbridge. Take a look. And that's not all. Another man said to ditch his car after he rammed through an electric pole and also on someone's shop. Kijana ni kama alimwambia Chana anafuta bangi lakini mara yake ya kwanza akakuja akaharibu gari yenyewe hapa na akatoroka. Hii gari amebeba sitima watu wote anaona. Hii imevunjwa ni yako? Wallahi. Si ni ile ya ice cream mama. Oh. Gari iko amebeba sitima kila mtu shuhudia. Sitima amebeba gari. So for many of those who will be traveling these coming holidays, these coming celebrations, the end of the year, may you all be safe. Drive safely. Sometimes when you allow people to come into your house, live in your house, or even work in your house, sometimes you never know the evilness that is hidden in their hearts. Here in Nairobi, a CCTV footage captured where a house help Open the door for a criminal, allowed a criminal, a thug, to enter in the house and rob, and suddenly even attacking the owner of the house. Take a look. Mm -hmm. 
Back in the day when Babo Wino was still at the University of Nairobi, he revealed a very shocking information to the people. And this information, it involves Geoffrey Musiria, who is the Nairobi City County Environment Officer. Listen to what Babo Wino had to say. One Geoffrey Musiria, he was expelled from the University of Nairobi for raising a second year's lady. Hey! 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 I'm the one who brought him back, asking. The other day, he's barely a month in the university when he was expelled two years ago. I'm the one who brought him back. Now he wants to fight. We will tell him the reason why a baby can play with the mother's boobs in public, but the same baby will never play with the father's testicles in public. Never! Not even. Not even. Not even. Not even. But the same baby of him, Osiria, he slapped a lady, a fresher, at 3 a.m. in the morning when the security reported and he was suspended one year ago. I'm the one who brought him back. Now, why must these people fight? What they brought back so that they can be used by the administration to fight the current regime? No. Nobody will have a coup in this zone. This zone is, a, is as strong as it is called. So it is feared by both the opposition and the government. I will not talk about administration because administration is useless. <laughs> you all have seen the work that Geoffrey Mosiria has been doing around Nairobi City County moving from one place to another and convincing the people, the, the residents and the public, the citizens, to do the right thing. But this time he was not lucky when he visited Impala grounds. The ground was hostile. Take a look. <laughs> So, what really happened? Listen to this. You know, we are just vibing to the music. Kume shika, zume shika. Oh my god, kuliko tu. Like, ilikuwa tu just fun vibes. Kidogo kidogo na una ule, ule mtu wa environment. Ule anaitangwa Joffrey. Joffrey Musiria. Ama Joffrey. Uyo, tukamuona. Like, so, like watu walikuwa na mixed reactions. Watu na furai, watu kwa zile za ndi ule, ndi ule, ndi ule, ndi ule. Jona wanaanga like TikTok and everything. Eh, hey, unginona, unginona shtuka the bouncers the bouncers were not too happy well, 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 jam. so at some point bouncers obviously juni event yao like walikuwa well, namzuia kuingia and everything wewe msana kama mdogo lakini trust me akuna nguvu miss jo meto hopping nguvu eh lakini vile alikuwa mejam he meant business wewe mtoto alikuwa na cheka alikuwa tuko na ka tu alikuwa na ka scary but alikuwa zile za like i'm doing the right thing but like alikuwa so scary alikuwa like ataka ku liko nashtuka but anyway um long story short ngoma ilizimbo tukaenda home Sijo why experience such a thing eh ngoma ilizimo watu tukanyamaza kila mtu like tulikuwa so humbled but shout out to that man he's doing a really good job like anafanya such a nice job then niwaulize ameolewa is he married is he married i'm just asking for a friend for a friend it's not even for me even in kenyan football there's chaos all the time a few days ago the head coach of gormaya leonardo martins naiva he was safe for police officers after the angry fans attacked him after bottling a 2 nil lead against Moranga Seal at Machakos Stadium. Take a look. <laughs> Apart from the chaos that is happening around Kenya, also, Kenyans are representing internationally. They are representing worldwide. A Kenyan born by the name of Hulda Momanyi, not Huda, but Hulda Momanyi. She won the Minnesota House of Representative seat. All right, this is what I'm going to say right here. It is official. We have, for the first time in history, for the first time in Minnesota, for the first time in the United States, Congresswoman Hulda History. Hey, hey. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the question of the day is, have we been eating dog meat or even cat meat? Like many of you like eating mutura, street foods that have meat inside, but yet you don't know the content that is in that food. Two men from Naro County, they were arrested for slaughtering dog for their meat. Just take a look. Kwamba watu wawili walinusurika kifo baada ya kufumaniwa na wakazi wa eneo la county la eneo la Total Kumradhi County ya Narok wakiwa na nyama ya mbwa. Wananchi waliojawa wana hasira waliwapiga watu hao ambao wanadaiwa kusambaza nyama hiyo kwa wanaozia sambusa. Wakazi waliwalazimisha kuelezea walivyoua mbwa hao na kupakia nyama. Hata hivyo polisi waliokoa na kuwapeleka hadi katika kituo cha polisi cha Narok Central wakazi wamekuwa kilalamikia kupotea kwa mbwa wao. Kila siku bwana tunakula mutura kwanza mimi ni kasoma mkubwa sana na anashangaa bwana hii mbwa ni tamu ni kama wanaongeza kachumbari siju wanaongeza nini kila mahali kuna uzo mutura na hata hakuna buchari tunashangaa tunakula nyama gani mbwa yangu ilipotea na niyo kubwa sana ya red na ilipotea juzi kumbe ndio wanakuwa wamekatakata wanatuletea hapa kwa babuchari tunakula kama mimi nimekuwa nikikula nyama sana nadhani hata jana nimekula hiyo mutura ya hiyo mbwa hata sisi wana biashara wenye wanauza substitute kama omena samaki sasa hizi hatuna biashara nzuri kwa sababu hata sisi bei yetu inapunguka because tunajaribu ku catch up na market yao pia sasa so, tumeomba the Kenya Meat Authority itafadhali itilie maanani e, nyama zenye wana butcher wanauza na pia waangalie mazingira hizo nyama <tos> Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.